The ocean hides secrets. For decades, submarines were those secrets, steel predators gliding silently under the waves. But today, a new kind of hunter is being born. It has no crew, no bunks, no mess hall. It runs on code, not cooks. And it may soon prowl the Indo-Pacific, unseen and unstoppable. They call it Ghost Shark. Before we dive in, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a deep dive from Naval Brief. Australia has joined the small club of nations pushing the frontier of autonomous underwater warfare. Ghost Shark isn't a fictional project. It's real, funded by Australia's Department of Defense, and developed with American defense company Enduro. And if the promises hold, Ghost Shark could quietly alter the balance of power in one of the world's most contested regions, the South China Sea, the Taiwan Strait, and the Indo-Pacific at large. Imagine a vessel the length of a subway car, moving without crew or human oversight for months at a time. No need for oxygen, no lights to keep sailors awake, just machine intelligence guiding it through the deep. It can scout, gather intelligence, map the ocean floor, or even carry weapons, all while being expendable, stealthy, and far cheaper than the billion-dollar submarines that dominate fleets today. This is the revolution Ghost Shark represents, not replacing nuclear submarines, but multiplying their reach. Where one attack submarine can only be in one place at a time, Ghost Sharks could swarm, saturating choke points, shadowing adversaries, and sending data back in real time. That alone changes naval warfare. For decades, submarines were a scarce asset, carefully allocated for specific missions. Now, a nation like Australia could field dozens of AI-driven undersea drones, covering vast ocean territory that even a fleet of nuclear submarines would struggle to monitor. The Indo-Pacific is already a battlefield of submarines, frigates, and maritime patrol planes. But Ghost Shark introduces a new dimension, autonomy. A Chinese captain looking at his sonar might hesitate. Is that a real submarine? Or one of dozens of AI-driven shadows tailing him? That hesitation alters behavior. Doubt is powerful, and in warfare, doubt is a weapon. And it's not just about surveillance. Ghost Shark is designed with modular payloads. That means it could carry sonar arrays, mines, or even torpedoes. Officially, the details remain classified. But every signal coming out Canberra suggests Ghost Shark won't just watch, it will be able to bite. If it works as promised, Ghost Shark could act like a tripwire in the sea. An adversary never knows if the contact on sonar is harmless or something capable of launching a torpedo. That uncertainty forces caution. And in contested waters like the South China Sea, hesitation can be decisive. In May 2025, Australia confirmed that Ghost Shark prototypes had already begun sea trials. The timeline? Operational systems in the water by late 2025, with full capability by 2026. That's lightning speed in defense development, where projects often drag on for decades. Why so urgent? Because the threat environment is changing just as fast. China's Navy is expanding at historic rates. More warships, more submarines, more Coast Guard vessels, all pressing into contested waters. For Australia, a middle power with finite resources, competing ship for ship isn't realistic. But deploying ghost fleets of AI submarines? That's asymmetric strategy. Australia's allies are watching closely. The United States sees Ghost Shark as more than just an Australian project. Washington views it as a model that could integrate into the wider AUKUS framework. Some analysts even call it a preview of the third pillar of AUKUS, advanced capabilities beyond nuclear propulsion. Enduro, the American defense firm building Ghost Shark, is deeply embedded in Silicon Valley's tech ecosystem. This isn't a traditional defense contractor. It's a company built on rapid prototyping and agile design. That's why Ghost Shark has advanced so quickly and why it could shape U.S. and ally doctrine for decades to come. Japan and the Philippines are also paying attention. If Ghost Shark proves effective, allies may seek access or cooperation. For Manila, staring down Chinese ships daily at Scarborough Shoal, fleets of expendable autonomous subs would be a dream, a way to offset size with strategy. Ghost Shark is designed to be affordable. Not cheap like a drone quadcopter, but cheap compared to a $3 billion nuclear submarine. That means quantity matters. If a ghost shark is lost, another can take its place. 
This shifts the cost equation in undersea warfare. China may be building submarines faster than anyone, but how do you counter a fleet of ghostly machines that don't need crews, don't need rest, and don't leave families waiting at home? For Beijing, it's a nightmare scenario. Endless, expendable hunters in the depths. Of course, every revolution comes with risk. Can AI really handle the complexity of underwater operations? What happens if Ghost Shark loses contact with human commanders, or worse, is hacked? Could a software glitch send it rogue, bumping into civilian ships or misidentify a target? These are real concerns. Underwater is an unforgiving environment. Radio signals don't travel far, navigation is tricky, and currents are unpredictable. Military planners worry, but urgency has outweighed caution. The trials keep moving forward because time is not on Australia's side. The South China Sea alone covers over a million square miles. It's riddled with reefs, shoals, and narrow straits. Impossible to patrol with a handful of nuclear submarines. But scatter ghost sharks through those waters, and suddenly coverage multiplies. Chinese submarines slipping out of Hainan could find a dozen ghostly tails shadowing them. In wartime, ghost sharks could play the role of expendable scouts, drawing enemy fire, soaking up attention, while manned submarines maneuver into position. In peacetime, their mere presence complicates Chinese planning. That's the heart of strategy, forcing your rival to second-guess every move. It's no coincidence this project carries a name like Ghost Shark. Naval names are chosen carefully, and this one project's menace. Something unseen, stalking silently, striking without warning. It's psychological warfare wrapped in engineering. For Australia, Ghost Shark represents more than technology. It's a statement of independence. A signal that Canberra isn't just leaning on the United States, but contributing something original to the alliance. It shifts Australia from junior partner to active innovator, shaping strategy instead of just following it. By late 2025, Ghost Shark is expected to enter limited service. At first, patrols may stick close to Australian waters. But the long-term vision is obvious. Send them into contested waters, into the South China Sea, into the Taiwan Strait, into places where their presence complicates Chinese operations. And Ghost Shark won't be alone for long. Other nations are taking notes. Expect China to race toward its own version, Russia to experiment with autonomous undersea systems, and even smaller powers to try. The undersea world is about to get crowded. Ghost Shark isn't just a prototype. It's a signal. A signal that the age of crewed submarines dominating the deep alone is ending. The next phase of naval warfare may belong to fleets of silent, tireless, AI-driven predators. Anchor this is Naval Brief your briefing room for sea power and defense analysis. If you're all hands on deck for real naval operations, maritime conflict, and global defense, subscribe and stay mission ready for the next briefing.